What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another player review. Today we're taking a look at the Tottenham selection. So obviously they didn't have a good result the weekend, but if you are a Tottenham fan or you're looking to improve your squad, there are probably three or four players in here. I would say that there's one kind of hidden gem game changer that is really, really good. We're going to get into him in a second. And then you've obviously got Ramiro, Kane and Son as the featured players at the front. So we're going to go through them fairly quickly because I have covered a lot of these players in different packs before. And these versions of the cards, apart from one or two, they're not really going to change the dial as to, you know, the best versions of the cards or whatever. Like even Harry Kane here, you know, Harry Kane goes to a 94 overall, but he's only got 17 levels. And I think his England version is slightly better, um, if not pretty much identical. So if you've got that, then you don't really need to mess around with it too much. His standard card goes very, very similar to this card as well because he's got that extra couple of levels to go. He's got 24 levels to go. And then there was also this version of him, which was probably the best, um, but has 18 levels, which was released, I think, in one of the packs way back when uh, with one of the Ambassador packs. So there has been a lot of different versions of Harry Kane. I think this one kind of falls right in the middle. I don't think I'd be spinning for him if you are looking to get Harry Kane. And I would say the same about Sun as well. So the two of them guys there, um, you know, you know what you're getting with Sun and you know what you're getting with Kane. I've never really been able to play well with Sun apart from the very, very first maybe two months of eFootball 2022. Um, there's been multiple versions of Sun as well, but I think it all depends on how you train him up, obviously. You know, you're going to be given 90 finishing to Harry Kane. He's got all the player skills that you would want. He's got unwavering form. He can play as the main man up front. I just struggle to play with very kind of um, slow players. Unless it's somebody like Jan Collar that I can put the ball into. I would prefer Inzaghi or Morientes who are in my squad. I don't think Kane is worth it. Even Lewandowski, you know, you probably have Lewandowski by now because there was a load of featured editions of Lewandowski. So for Son, obviously he can play multiple positions. Um, you know, I wouldn't say no to him if I did do a cheeky spin and I got him, even though I haven't really ever been able to get on with him. I think the problem with Son is his prolific winger uh, play style. Now, we are going to be doing a video on play styles. We are going to be doing a video also. A lot of people asking me player stats versus player skills and how they kind of can overcompensate in, you know, different types of ways. So, for example, Son, for example, has long range curler, even though he's only got 75 uh, rated curl on his stats. So he has got that long range curler and long range shooting, which means that you'll be able to, you know, take those long range curling shots and finesse shots that you might not be able to take if you don't have that player skill because he only has 75 in his stat. But we will do a video to go through that. A lot of people have been asking me about that. The rest of the stats are really good. The rest of the player skills are really good. We have him maxed out here. There is Kane with a level 90 for finishing and 95 for offensive awareness, which does overcompensate for the fact that he's not the fastest. He will be making some incredible runs. He just is a deep line forward, so he can be more difficult to play with than a normal fox in the box or somebody that's really pacey. Same with Son. He's got excellent defensive awareness. He's got excellent dribbling and 96 acceleration is always brilliant. I would probably play Son on the wing, cutting in with those curled shots. He's got 80 finishing that you don't really need to touch up. Um... But that's just me. Let me know what you guys think. Now, moving on, right? We have a couple of, I would say, like, average to... Yeah, I mean, like, this guy here, you can probably, like, forget about so uh, signing him. He does have unwavering form. He does have interception, but he doesn't have blocker. If I'm going to train him up, I'm training this guy, and I'm training Bentancourt. Very, very similar. I've actually come up against Bentancourt a few times. Um, I'm not too sure which version of him it was. I think it was from the Uruguayan pack. And he was an absolute monster. So this card isn't quite as good, I don't think, um, because he's less levels to go. And his passing and tackling isn't as good as the Uruguayan card. I'll just show you here from a base stat. So this is his base stat here at 82. And this is the Uruguayan pack, um, which is plus three in tackling, which is big because we want to train this guy defensively. Um, and that tackling, the difference is between, you know, 82 and 79. Um, it, it can be big, right? But the rest of the card, I would train him. And I would train uh, this guy very, very, very similar, right? Because they're very similar players. They're both box to box. Obviously, Bentancourt is going to be more of a passer if you want to have that. Um, and you need to train up. But if you don't need to train this guy's stats up as high if you don't want to. Because I think, look, depending on how, what role you're playing, 
82 low pass is enough if you're not you know you're if you want a passer then just go and buy a passer don't try and turn a box-to-box player into you know kevin de bruyne and then i would literally just have him defensive i think that benton core is slightly better going forward um and this guy's more defensive so that's the two of them kind of sorted and then we also have hugo loris um as well that i think is kind of can be largely ignored i think that his stats just aren't good enough he also doesn't have a long throw which is huge and his form is standard and i think based on his performance yesterday sorry spurs fans but i don't think a lot of people are going to be trusting him in goals i don't think i've ever come up against Larice and been like yeah you know I, i'm not going to score today like i would if i have donnarumma if i'm facing donnarumma between the sticks or something like that now last but not least we do have well no last but not least we have um our last center midfielder our center back that we've been focusing on so Ramiro is a very very good player lads he's not the tallest right he's not the fastest but he's kind of a mixture he kind of reminds me of Puyol um in that he's very 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 aggressive you can see the stats here uh in a second when I switch over so you max him out this is how I've trained him 12 into defending four into dribbling and four into dexterity depending on you know look you don't need dribbling because if you are trying to dribble with your center back there is no point in in doing that like i genuinely would just pump in as many stats as possible into either his you know pump two more into dexterity to get his acceleration up um but i genuinely think just pump it into his defensive stats you're going to have a monster on your hands there if you get him that's one of the best cards that is there again the argentina pack i think is slightly better he's got 19 levels to go but he's got better tackling and better defensive engagement with better jump so it's just a slightly different card um, but this guy is is definitely worth it as well apart from the standard form he is an absolute beast if you train him right and if you play him right and then we also have a Kulisevsky who is a winger he's just a very kind of basic winger lads he does have good player skills he doesn't have unwavering form it's standard form which is a bit of a pity but the rest of his stats are quite decent because you've got like 90 dribbling 88 acceleration 85 stamina um low pass is okay for a winger ball control is good offensive awareness is good speed is good stamina is good balance is good he's just average but i do think that if you are looking for a winger dembele is the man to get especially with him being on a form this week because you know this guy's on c he's not really going to be starting that often when he's got standard form now the player that i really want to focus on is last but not least the most important player in this and i think a potential declan rice beater uh, this could be absolutely a huge card for you if you are looking for somebody that is just an all-round absolute weapon in the middle of the pitch because he looks insane right his standard form on c rating is a bit of an issue obviously that's going to be a bit of a concern and i'm not ignoring that when i do review this player but i do think that it, it's it's more than enough if you do spin him right look would i go out and spin him i probably wouldn't get him ahead of declan rice unless you have the coins obviously if you're staying uh, free to play and you're going to be taking a chance um i think you probably have a high chance getting him because he is the lowest rated you know player in the box and that's usually sometimes how it works that's how it works for me anyway i always get the worst player in the box um but this guy is definitely not the worst player when you train him up he's got like forgetting about his player form and his his uh his rating which is obviously something that you definitely need to keep in mind look at what we train him up to here lads absolutely insane player now we've trained him in there's a there's, there's a few different ways to train him because he's got 35 levels right there's also the standard edition he's got 35 levels so this card that we have here is pretty much better in every single stat by two or three and he's got the same levels as his standard card so it's the best version i've been by a mile and i think those extra stats turn this guy from a good player into a potential like you know end game type player especially on the bench if you got if you get this guy listen lads right if you get this guy trained like this and you get him with the player form arrow fully up you're going to have a boost to your tackling aggression and defensive uh, engagement you're going to have 99 tackling 94 aggression and 96 defensive engagement with 82 speed and 85 acceleration like that is ridiculous for a player that potentially might only cost you 100 coins now i don't really really recommend especially at this late in eFootball football 23's life cycle getting his standard edition because i think that you know you are going to miss out on a couple of those stats and i do think that the tackling at 97 is just a big swinger here for me so that's a big one if that was at 94 95 
I think, you know, it's just, I don't think that it's worth it in terms of getting Declan Rice, who is an absolute monster, uh, because Rice is actually a bigger unit on the pitch and he covers more ground, in my opinion. But this guy, lads, I mean, absolutely incredible. If you don't want to go that defensive with him, you could obviously just put up his passing a little bit uh, if you wanted to, you know, and make him more of a trek going forward. But I genuinely, lads, if this was me um, and I'm training him and if I was to get him, right, once we have our passing, our dribbling, and our acceleration fairly good, right? Because we want to be able to like win a lot of loose ball and get onto loose ball um, as best as we can. I'm literally pumping up his defensive stats like that high. Now, we might want the stamina more than 90. I don't think you need it, but that's up to how you play if you chase a lot of balls or whatever. Um, you know, you could even go with the one less passing and have 74 because you're not trying to carve open defenses with this guy. You are literally using him as a battering ram or else as a blocker. That's what you're using him as, you know, that's that's basically it. Like, you could go 80 there. But even if we are to train him up there, look at the stats that this guy has as a 92 overall when we train him this way. Incredible. So, yeah, definitely one of the best players I think that they've released in a while. Is he better than Declan Rice, who you can get for free after 15 matches in the, in the match pass? That remains to be seen. But I definitely think if you spin him in your pursuit of Son or Kane, if you don't have them, you get him definitely train him up and try him out lads you will not be disappointed i've used his standard card and it is good but it's not meta but i think this guy could be absolutely like completely meta and overpowered so let me know what you guys think i will talk to you later don't forget to subscribe and we'll be back quite soon peace